Arnaud Darmont. I'm the founder of Afisa. We are an electronics development company. We work on contracts, developing industrial medical cameras for uh, specific customer applications. Uh, we do a lot of business with the United States and we do almost exclusively exports. Most of the information we receive about this trade negotiation, besides for the press, is the information we can read on the website of the European Commission that has been created to promote the trade agreement, to inform the people about the trade agreement. It's mostly made to inform uh, the common people, the residents of Europe, but there are also some documents interesting for companies, and that's where we have received uh, most of the information we know today. We hope that with uh, this trade agreement, there will be discussions on the financial and economical side, but also on the legal side and social side, and that all of this will be included. The reason why we are following up the negotiations is because we do mostly exports and our biggest customers in the past years have been the United States. And um, we had some concerns about the uh, cost of the products related to duties, shipping costs and some import paperwork. And in particular, we had uh, some difficult uh, time doing the right paperwork to receive some equipment from our, our customer to uh, build a demo with their equipment. And um, we lost a lot of time in those, in those documents. Also, we have some legal concerns with the United States, both in terms of IP protection. Right now, the IP is related to uh, European contracts. We would like to make sure that the ORIP is also well protected in the United States. And the second thing is um, the legal actions against bad payers. We have seen recently more and more bad payers. We exclusively do business to business, but still in this kind of collaboration, we still have bad payers. We had some from Europe, but we also have some from the United States. And um, it would be easier for us if we could uh, directly work with the United States courts instead of having a two-level process, first working with the European courts and then moving on the, the sentence to the US courts. It's um, a long time process and for a small company like us it is a very significant work and um, it causes additional difficulties due to uh, the time it takes to recover the money. I will talk about our experience with the South Korean free trade zone agreement. Um, we had at that time negotiations ongoing with one customer in South Korea and um, we closed that deal just before the free trade agreement um, was created so that customer had to pay for all duties. But shortly after, because of that free trade agreement, we got a second contract in South Korea. And South Korea is today the first country where we had two big contracts. Um, in the same period of time. And we expect from free trade agreements in general is that it lowers barriers and helps small companies to address new markets. People think that this treaty is mostly for large companies. What we expect is that not only large companies but also small companies will benefit from the treaty because when large companies have growing business, they subcontract work, they purchase equipment or services from smaller companies and those companies are usually local. So if the treaty benefits to large companies of Europe, it will also benefit to the small companies uh, of Europe. And also small companies can benefit directly from the treaty by attracting more customers from the United States.